way I looked at gathering information for this series of paintings is starting from the initial painting of, of, of Breakfast on the Anacostia. My wife and I, we always take our dogs over to the river, walk around there. We've got plants uh, that came from the aquatic garden, so we're very familiar with the area. I've often thought about the animal life that's over there now and how much it has come back just in the time period that we've been going over there, how much different you know, different types of animals that have come back. With this project, it put me in the realm of looking at when the first natives, or when the first humans got here, uh, and that was roughly 12,000 years ago. And I wanted to show the animals from like 12,500. And I just looked at all the little critters and started researching the animals that, that lived in that area that you know were here. Most of the times we're over there, we're there early in the morning, and we see you know these animals going out to feed, they're looking for food. And I'm thinking, and, you know, there was a movie called Breakfast at Tiffany's. I was like, eh, that's a nice play, Breakfast on the Anacostia. You know, it's showing all these critters out getting food, you know, for them to start their day. So that's where all of the, the research on that came in, or that's what formulated the research and the idea for the paintings was to, to, to have this just dichotomy of animal life, uh, land, sea, and air, you know. So that, that's where that came from. Um, then I moved on and I was, uh, the second piece, Storms from the East, and this is the piece I'm in front of. Uh, I, I've, I've done a lot of murals, well, a couple of murals that depict uh, DC history, uh, the anniversary of DC's history, DC 200 plus, and then for Arlington, I did Arlington at 200. In both of those murals, I included uh, the indigenous folks uh, because <laughs> they were here first. And I was talking to Professor uh, Gabrielle Tayak from uh, George Mason University, and she had seen some of my work, and she said, <clears throat> "I like your work, but I want to—I want somebody to show something that depicts." Well, what she said was, most people when they paint our culture, they paint us in the way we lived, our culture, uh, habits, and all of that, I want, these are her words, I want something that shows what happened to us, what led to our detriment. Uh, and so in researching the Nakach tank, I just looked at and thought, these folks lived off the river. The river was everything. They, they, they ate off the river, they traded off the river, they traveled off the river. That was the main source of life. They went up and down it, you know, down through the Virginias, or what is we now call Virginia, uh, up through to Pennsylvania, and tribes back and forth traded uh, with each other that way. So I wanted that river to play a very important part in that painting, but I wanted to show the turmoil of what happened to them. And the best way I could think of was that what led to their demise were people coming from the east, storms from the east. And then I wanted to depict a very stormy, very uh, outrageous river and people escaping or fleeing from danger that was imminent upon them. The third piece a self-reliant community. I, again, have done a lot of murals on the Kenilworth area, which is where I live. Uh, I wanted to concentrate on the life of people and the community, uh, particularly in Eastland Gardens, which has is a very nice neighborhood. And there were a lot of people that gardened there. And they had garden shows and all of this. So I wanted to depict that in it. Uh, Mr. Lundy at the Aquatic Gardens, I couldn't do anything that 
was going to feature the aquatic guards without paying homage to him because this man taught them how to overwinter and take care of their plants. Uh, he was at first the first person there to do that in many ways in my mind I've always thought of him as like their Dr. George Washington Carver. So he's there. Uh, Mr. Chestnut, Dennis Chestnut, who's led so much, so many uh, cleanup projects around the river. Uh, I, I wanted him uh, very much in there. Uh, the cleanup of the river is very important, uh, not just to make it look good, but for the longevity of the river and for the life of the river and the, the animal life that, that really lives off that river. Uh, I wanted that in there. Then I've also, uh, there's a, a, a boat scene in there to where uh, it's reminiscent of uh, a time when you could fish and eat off the river uh, safely. Uh, so it's, you're looking at a time period, both that and the garden time periods are from, let's say the 40s up and through the 70s, through the 60s and 70s. Um, but the boat scene, to me, what I used was an image of uh, my father and brother. My brother tells the story of he and dad, and dad was a big fisherman. But he and dad went out to fish, and Trey ended up catching more fish than, than dad did. And that was a big highlight for him uh, as a kid. He outfished his father. Um, and then I have my wife and uh, our three dogs. Uh, like I say, we go up to that river a lot. And, you know, there are buildings that are in that piece that are, they're kind of, they will be kind of like ghost images to show the development that's coming. And the, the sky right over that is, is kind of like the sun going down. So it's, I'm kind of questioning, is that meaning the sun is going down on this community that's been here? for more than a hundred years.